So, Minecraft just got an update that could change things forever. For example, the lucky block of TNT. What will we get? Will it be good? Will it be bad? Please, grant me something. Where did... It, wait. Oh, <laughs> that nice. Anyways, last laddies, love her, sit back and bungle in. We've got a lot to take a look at. Today, we're going to take a look at that big announcement, talk all about it, take a look at some mods, and even speculate as to what might be coming next and what this could all mean for the future. It all kicks off from Minecraft to Bedrock hey. Edition. Oh, but my, 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 what is this? Marketplace add-ons, and is that perhaps a copybara with a Reddit fedora? The only way to talk about add-ons now officially coming to Minecraft the Bedrock Edition is, of course, to take a look at all of them. Now, one of the biggest things requested to come to Minecraft for, like, literally ever is more furniture. And when we say more furniture, how about, like, literally thousands? So after picking up a pack inside of the marketplace, if you want to check it out inside of your world, slide all the way down to behave your packs, and then every single one that you currently own, purchased, free, or whatever, all you have to do is tap this activate button, and then it activates. After that, just like normal, all of the settings that you want to change, you want the armadillo, the 1.21, it's no big deal. And after a little bit, we smash create. And so our journey begins. Inside of a brand new frozen unknown world, we spawn in with nothing but a mere book. I guess the first thing I want to do in the world, reading. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's all basically like a whole guide to all of this up and how it works. The big thing right here is going to be the deco bench. And so we set off with the hopes and dreams of a deco bench inside of my world. It's time we find the nearest spruce tree and get to anti-environmentalism. Oh, no flipping way. And just like that, magically, almost like it's from the gods or something. I was granted a stack of iron ingots that's flipping insane. Inside of the crafting table, I think it was spruce logs and planks. I wonder if we can use spruce planks and then ingots. Oh, I just did it wrong. So the cool thing about this is so far, I mean, look, I'm a humble adventurer just getting started inside of this world, so I haven't done exactly much, but from what I have done inside of this world, hit a polar bear, punch a little bit of dirt, run around and take some damage, it all seems just like plain old plastic vanilla Minecraft. This time for real, there's no going back. The deco bench, I believe the ticket to all of the beautiful furniture is right here. Oh, we slide into it. Oh, that's crazy how that pop-up works. That's so cool. Okay, so how do we select here? Uh, the amount of dye right there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So we can dye all of this stuff and customize it. Bruh. Except for the tutorial still. <laughs> I always was an advanced and rapid learner. Please let me do something. Please, please. I know it's beautiful. I get it. So from the looks of this small tutorial, it looks like all of our crafting is done inside of this thing. As long as I have the materials queued up over here, this is like some high tech stuff. Then I tap craft and then it's going to go ahead and craft this thing. And then I can pick it up from that slot right there. All right, so let's right click up here to scroll through the different menu and see everything and then over here right click again and i can scroll down and see all of the chairs of my dream this is so cool i go ahead and right click and just scroll through everything kitchen a bathroom miscellaneous oh oh the hype beast model <laughs> no flipping way however if i'm in creative minecraft i can just go ahead and scroll through this whole thing and see all of the furniture and the beautiful models for myself a bathtub i want to take a bath in the middle of the frozen ocean <laughs> oh in gumball machine my papa had one at the top of the stairs and then he would like put like chains inside of it and said oh that's a fire idea right there alarm clock on the floor on the ice ocean no that's it it's gonna drown no and just like that inspiration struck me you being the is something of a builder that i am it's time we spice something up with the help of these decorations that are of course 100 obtainable in survival minecraft but easier to obtain in creative minecraft we can renovate the village bedroom goodbye instead piano room right here training land we listen to music in the background while trying to practice shoot the dummy this house will properly be christened as the gamer station we'll put foosball table inside of it look at that those tiny models that look so good we are generous king of course on the other side of building we will give stool as well this building sleeping? No, it's more like a gaming. Big microphone, mouse, the stream deck, and everything, and even Minecraft 1.19. Oh, we got it all. All right, so this is so fire. This is really, really cool. And from taking a look at these different models and how they're kind of like working inside of the world, they look good. Like, I mean, obviously, it's departing from that vanilla Minecraft aesthetic, but this stuff is clean. I saw like a kitchen cabinets and everything. Maybe you need to make the house of your dream. It's got you. Maybe you want like a plunger or something. Plunger, boy, get the plunging. Yeah, yeah. that clean model that I wanted to see. Look at that thing. That's so awesome looking. A basket of yarn, a hamburger and fries, and then this brush. What do we do with this? If I use the brush, 
All right, well, I should have read that tutorial, shouldn't I? And it looks like in survival, some of these things are actually interactable too. I could walk up to this and interact with the pizza and say like, have it open for the big party. Nothing to do with that model, but how about the drawers? Oh, that's so sad. So just a mere few days ago, for the very first time ever, the biggest announcement potentially ever, I think, was made. Add-ons, aka mods, basically, are officially inside of Minecraft Marketplace. Now, this is pretty huge because for the very first time ever, players are going to actually be able to like check out a different modifications of a survival experience in multiple worlds and relatively easily as well. For this one, though, technically, our timeline begins years and years and years ago. Inside of the experimental toggles, this thing has been here since like literally 2019, I feel like, holiday creator features. I believe this is all related to add-ons and a bunch of this other stuff, it might be related to add-ons too. True Minecraft the veterans will know that at this point, add-ons for Minecraft the Bedrock Edition, like a Phoebe Bridgers song or something, they are truly nothing new. They kind of been around for a while, and for the longest time, they've been free as well. You excuse my ignorance, I am Java main, but for example, a site like MCPEDL, we can check out this amazing SCP add-on. My fixation still lingers here, and I mean, look at this thing, this looks so cool. We can check it out, and I bet we can check it out for 100% free. This stuff is genuinely super cool, and I've even checked out a couple add-ons here and there myself, but there is a little bit of a barrier or bar to entry. I don't know how you say it. Basically, you had to have at least a little bit of technical knowledge to be able to figure out how to actually add the stuff into your game, into your survival world, and check it out. And with all of that, there was never the promise of quality control as well. This stuff could be like <laughs> a, a literal absolute virus, so theoretically. Okay, look, maybe not like actually literally a virus, but y you get what I'm saying, right? Now you stay tuned because we're going to take a look at a couple different add-ons and talk about what this could mean for Java and the future too. So inside of the marketplace to find this new add-on stuff, scroll down just a little bit and right before too long, you should see add-ons. I wonder if in the future a spot right here will say add-ons or maybe like over here something could say add-ons as well. Make it nice and easy, you know? Now, there's a big difference between these brand new add-ons and most of the other content that's been in the marketplace for a long time. For example, say maybe this one. Right here, we can see it comes with 15 skins in one world. Of course, you could use the skins anywhere, but the world, one world, that means if you want to check out these airplanes, you're only going to check them out and experience them in this map. Maybe not that true survival world you've done so much grinding in up to 1.21 or something. It's like a fully built out experience already. However, with these add-ons, they can actually theoretically be implemented into a pre-existing world or maybe a fresh world that is like basically vanilla Minecraft. So taking a look at our almost day one add-ons right here, we have a lot of add-ons. And the nice thing is a lot of these add-ons are actually free. This wool one, the TNT one, and the intro, the gravestone, this whole hiking one, this other furniture one, and then this one, which looks like it's like a demo for the bigger dragon fire add-on as well. So this is another furniture one that I was so close to showcasing in this video. This one almost looks like it preserves that vanilla feel a little bit more. It's clean. We'll go ahead and pick it up and then tap a download to basically add it to our device. And yet again, we find ourselves inside of the create a world screen. Inside of behavior packs, we'll go ahead and activate this pet one. That sounds adorable. And this brand new furniture one as well. You can also go ahead and change the ranking, the priority of the add-ons you put inside of your world too. And just like that, we're inside of a brand new world spawned yet again with a little bit of knowledge of the furniture book. Look at how high quality this is. This is a literally free furniture mod. Right here inside of this book, we get like a little bit of information. If we interact with a book, it kind of like scrolls through it and shows us a bunch of different crafting recipes. Look at this thing. There's so much beautiful furniture and it's showing us that we can dye it here too. I love how this is done. It's beautiful. If I punch the book, it closes and slams and goes on the ground. Meanwhile, the other one, the run that I really want to check out here, Spark Pads. This is another free one right here inside of the marketplace. With this one, we can find all of these pets and get them inside of our world. If we want to tame the pet, we make a collar. Like, we literally craft it and then put it on the pet, and we can dye it just like normal. You could also give your pets a treat. So oh, it's adorable. Come on, please add this to vanilla or something. After that, we can actually spice up our pets. Maybe we want Discord moderator turtle. Oh, <laughs> adorable. And then after that, a little bit more about the pack. It's so cool. I love how that book thing is done. Now looky here, with this furniture one, I love how the aesthetic of this. And also, taking a look at the finer details here, you can see that we've got variants for every single wood type as well. And dyed ones too.
Oh, <laughs> what is that? A wild dog. Oh, a wild corgi. Maybe. Maybe that's a corgi. <laughs> oh, it's too adorable. My heart can't take it. All right. But anyways, the furniture that I want to check out real quick. We've got a tall lamp. We've got a grandfather clock. I've always wanted those inside of my like real world house. It's so cool looking. Oh, listen to the subtle ambiance. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that that could add to the build. I wonder if it, like, maybe it goes off and say, like, noon or, like, nighttime or something. That's nice. This is a small planter box. It's very nice. A yellow curtain. Pretend this is my giant, uh, the beautiful window, right? Yellow lamb is the best color in the world. Had to see it in service bell. In survival, of course. Can we interact with this? Oh, no way. We can. And look at that model, like, the animation. Oh, that's beautiful looking. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. But anyways, moving on. We have an urgent to dear friend standing nearby that needs to be tamed. If we make ourselves a collar and walk over to little buddy. Oh, it's adorable. That pet is now mine. And look, this is the cool one that I, I literally cannot stress enough. The pet add-on right here, it is so high quality. This is literally free right now. You could check this thing out for free. So from my time playing around with this pets one, I found this small ethical dilemma. From time to time, a brand new, a uh, brand new wandering trader will spawn inside of your world. And I don't, I question the ethics of this one because I mean, who are you? And how do I know that you're treating these animals that I'm purchasing from you? Like, like ethically, like, where did you find these things? What's going on? So let's get immersive for a second. Let's say we're grinding it out. 100% survival Minecraft. As you can tell from the crafting tables, I'm doing my favorite activity, which is placing crafting tables. And then boom, all of a sudden, Trader pops up over at the base. We check out the Trader and oh, it looks like he's trying to sell me a, a top pad and a head flower. Very strange. But also his wares are going to include other pet related things. As you can see right here, he doesn't sell very much. Small quantities, but pet related things, including proper pets. So after that, we go ahead and purchase Capybara from the Trader and then we we place it down but really quick we need to make a collar because it's not tamed now that it's tamed it's gonna follow me around just like a normal pet would boom a brand new trader please give me the mob that i want give me the one that i want look there's no offense to any of these other ones they're wonderful but please my heart my heart knows there's only one specific type of creature that i am looking for i will keep going until i can get him Ooh, superhero up and that's pretty fire and then the chameleon yeah we'll get it too oh that's adorable please dear friend please have it no no more kittens okay it's fine all right a hedgehog i'll take that too but you know what i just came up with an idea what if i maybe just walked over to this dinosaur and gave you aha uh -huh. ah it works okay listen buddy old friend this is gonna be a little awkward but you gotta give it up well, would you look at that just like that for the impossibly low price of 3.99 i have now dove into the unethical world of illegal animal trading I can't believe it, but the animals that are added inside of this thing, the different pets are so adorable, and they feel so, like, almost vanilla-y. There's also different variants of each pet, like the chameleon, I've got one somewhere, there you are, you're blue, and then this one over here, it's yellow, it's so cool. My favorite one out of all of them, though, is probably the T-Rex, and look at this, you can put on your pet <laughs> different, like, uh, outfits and clothing. We want Abraham Lincoln kitten, you're not allowed near any theaters, okay? And then, like, the T-Rex with a sunflower hat yeah why not look the stuff is adorable i could mess with this stuff all day long it's so cool that i haven't even dyed a single collar i love the different outfits too it's like adds the personalization of our dreams armadillo armor who cares about it <laughs> we got a t-rex wearing a wearing a hat <laughs> it's so cool all right, so three is one of my favorite numbers of all time. These are quick little showcases. It looks like we got this technical one, almost giving like create mod or something, but like a little bit different. We've got cool things like elemental crops as well. That's kind of cool. You could literally farm fire, but I think there is one and one only that stands out and this one is expensive. For the low price of $7.99, I can have, well, for that low price, I can have the Savannah update of my dreams right now, all of these other animals and just even more animals. So I can't lie, this is one of the ones I am most curious about. At the time of recording this video, oh, I see them already. At the time of recording this video, this is the most expensive one on the marketplace. We got that high quality book again, it's beautiful. Okay, so we can interact with the book to find a little bit more information on all of these different mobs. Allegedly speaking, and it seems to be true right off the bat, definitely true. Uh, these mobs are gonna naturally spawn inside of your world. That means you do a little bit of adventuring around inside of your world and you're gonna be able to find these things. Look at the bluebirds, those things are aggressive. So the thing with some of these mods is of course it's gonna get a little bit more expensive. But I guess to make it a little bit better, like you have it forever. As long as your count exists, you have the bald eagle. Look at that thing, huh? I have to walk it. That's adorable. That's high quality too. 
I it's sad to say, but I, I guess it kind of makes sense. I'm a little bit familiar with Java modding, and I can feel the performance like less once I put all these extra animals in my world. I, I wonder if that means there's a shark under the water here. I should probably jump in, right? It's a good idea. I'm swimming around inside of the frozen oceans. I don't know how to feel. It looks a little bit dry, a, a bit barren. I don't see anybody living down here. Maybe that makes sense, though. I don't know. Oh, no way. Look what I found. A giant moose. I'm inside of the tall tree forest, Bob. And this thing is so tall. Look at how tall it is. What happens if I... If I do... Oh, you don't like it. Okay, logical. I won't do it again. Sorry, it was for science. I'm out. So this big announcement, I think it's potentially game-changing for the entire Minecraft community. Of course, if you have Java, I guess you could just, like, download mods for free still, and that's great. Which, yes, that is insanely, insanely valid, but I feel like with that argument, you're kind of missing the point that not everybody can play Java Minecraft. After all, Java Minecraft, it's not, like, exactly optimized as smoothly. And that's completely missing the point that Bedrock Minecraft is available on, like, literally everything and known to mankind. It's everywhere. With add-ons now officially being in the marketplace and way more easier to access, this opens the gate for so many players. Like, in fact, to give my ignorance a break for a second, but I don't even know how you would be able to put add-ons onto, like, Minecraft on PlayStation or maybe Minecraft on Xbox. I'm sure it could be done, but, like, is that even easy to do? Well, now the answer is yes. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about and very curious to see is the quality control that is going to go into this. Like, are we about to see a bunch of mods just be stolen and placed into the marketplace and sold and then there's like really hard to take them down? Kind of like what happened with the whole Aether debacle last year. But I guess for something like that, of course, only time can tell. Whether you're a huge fan of it or not so much, one thing's for certain. The implementation of mods or add-ons to Minecraft to Bedrock's marketplace, both free and paid, is maybe the biggest development of all time so what do you think do you like this implementation do you not call it down below the idea of a mod showcase is over here on the channel what do you think do you like it do you not call it thank you all so much for watching it's been me waddles and until next time i'll see you then <laughs> goodbye